Hi, my name is Fabrizio Poli. Welcome back to Tyra Swings TV. And today we're going to talk about disruptive innovation in aviation. Now, aviation is a fascinating subject and there's a lot of technology coming to the cockpit in particular. And some airplanes are coming up with a new different shapes and forms. So today, in this video, I'd like to talk to you a bit about what, what's coming. Now, there's been a lot of talk over the last few years about pilot shortage. Now, it costs a lot of money today to train to become a pilot. I'm talking about 100, 120,000 euros to qualify for your basic qualifications. Um, so it, it's very expensive and pilots don't earn as much money as they used to. In fact, salaries have stayed the same for the last 15 years. So there is going to be a problem because there's more and more aircraft going to be delivered over the years. So how are we going to solve the pilot shortage problem? Well, there's a number of companies out there that are developing artificial intelligence and robots which were actually being fitted into the cockpit. And this is going to be the co-pilot of the future. So we will be moving towards a cockpit manned by one human being and one form of artificial intelligence. But right now, in a lot of the private jets, and private jets get the modern technology before the airliners. This is the way it evolves. It starts in the military. Then from the military aircraft, it moves into the private jets and then eventually gets into the commercial aircraft around about 10 years later. So the private jets have the, the, the best high tech out there where you've got, um, I mean, back in 1986 when I learned to fly, I had to look at the instruments, I had to interpret what the instruments were telling me and then in my head visualize what the airplane was doing and where the airplane was going in, 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 in the four dimensions. But now with all the modern avionics that are out there, you can actually see that all displayed on the screen. And in some aircraft, which has a head up display, all the information is displayed on the windscreen. So you're actually looking outside and at the same time, the airplane is telling you how fast you're going, what the rate of descent is, what the altitude is, and all that other good stuff. So this is the sort of stuff that's happening. Now one airplane I'd like to talk about, which I think is gonna be very disruptive, is the Cirrus Vision Jet. Now Cirrus have built this aircraft, it's very, as you can see, it's very space age looking. It looks like one of these things out of, out of Star Wars. And it's built with very sophisticated avionics, which are very easy to use, very user friendly, um, and it's very easy to fly. And the other thing is the airplane also has a parachute. So what happens, it's got one jet engine. If the jet engine were to fail, or you were to have a hydraulic failure of some sort, which may cause a problem, what you can do is just shut the engine down press a button and deploy the parachute. And the airplane will land in one piece and you'll be in one piece in the field. Now I predict the Vision Jet, which is costing around about $2 million. I think this is gonna be a great airplane for those that, that fly, but also have businesses and they have the money to buy an aircraft and they like to use the private jet to get from A to B to C to D. This is a great airplane. I think it's gonna be very successful because of the technology, not only the technology with the parachute system, but also the avionics, which is making life a lot easier for the pilot. And it's an airplane you can fly on your own. You don't need a co-pilot because of the avionics is certified as a single pilot airplane. So this is a, this is a, a, a great one for, for the future. So we've got robots coming to the cockpit, artificial intelligence, we've got the vision jet. And the other thing I'd like to talk about is supersonic flight or hypersonic flight. Now, there's about four or five companies right now which are developing a project or five different projects to develop a supersonic business jet. But there's also a couple of companies out there which are working at building a hypersonic business jet. Now, I personally think that hypersonic is gonna come back before we see supersonic. Now, the experts out there, um, the manufacturers of these supersonic aircraft are talking about a market of about 600 aircraft. But obviously, if all five of these companies come on the market, you know, not everybody's gonna be successful. So let's look out for supersonic. Let's look out for the hypersonic because obviously we need to bring speed back to aviation. Because as I said in a previous video, air travel has got slower. It hasn't got faster. Since Concorde retired, supersonic civilian aircraft no long, is no longer here. And because of terrorism and airport security, it actually has got slower to go from A to B. And the number of bags being lost and all other delays and whatnot has created all this disruption, negative disruption, unfortunately, and which has slowed aviation down when everything else around us is actually speeding up. So I think speed is gonna come back to aviation, and I think it's gonna come back in the form of hypersonic flight before we see supersonic flight come back again. That's all from Fabrizio Poli at Tyra Swings TV. Remember to subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment below. Any questions you have, please feel free to ask and share this video with those around you with your network. That's all from me and I'll see you again on Tyra Swings TV.